We're here at Arrow and we are in the Hall A7. This is where all the electric propulsion aircraft are. It's a very fascinating development and we've come across one that we like a lot here and we wanted to learn more about it, so you can too. This is Aero Friedrichshafen. We want to thank our sponsors, Bristel Aircraft USA and LSA Aero Marine for helping us make these videos possible. I'm Dan Johnson and I'm talking with Benjamin Mirabeau. Yes, hello. I think I got this right. And Benjamin is going to tell me about this very interesting octocopter. This can fit perhaps in your garage. So, Benjamin, tell me a little bit about the concept behind this aircraft. All right, this is so, the Whisper. Yeah, call this it. is yeah, this is called the Whisper. And uh, so as you said, it's an octocopter. So we have eight electric motors. So this is full electric and it is powered by eight uh, electric uh, batteries, okay? Electric packs, battery packs. And we have a flight time of 30 minutes. 30 minutes, 30 okay. 30 minutes, yes. And the range is about 50 kilometers. Okay. And we hope to increase that range in the next two years. Uh, with new battery technologies, um, yeah, that's that's the goal. To increase. Currently, you're using lithium-style batteries. Exactly, yeah. classic lithium. Yeah, okay, exactly. And, and you're expecting that the battery development will uh, yes. improve that much in that yeah, time? Yeah, we hope to reach one hour in the coming two years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, folks, if you look at this and you kind of maybe you can't see the joystick in here, but there is a joystick in this airplane. So this is not some autonomous thing you get no. in and it takes you to your doctor's no. appointment. No. This is for you to go fly and enjoy. Exactly, yeah. And how much of flying this is pilot input versus software control? Well, uh, the thing is like you are not uh, piloting each motor. So the software is dealing with the eight motors. So you have just Ba you just need basic skills of piloting. To you be just able. direct it by the joystick. Yes, and exactly. there, are no, there is nothing. And else. there's no rudder yeah, pedals down here. It's one hand. It, it looks like quite a comfortable space in here, but yeah. definitely no rudder yeah. pedals down there. So there's yeah. nothing down there. It's all no. joystick. Yeah, one and hand. You just direct it where you want to go, much exactly. like an RC aircraft. Exactly. Is that right? Just like an RC. Yeah. Okay. So, could someone with no flying skill? get in this aircraft and operate it? I wouldn't say no flying skills because you need some training to be able to go in the air, but I would say a lot less flying skills than yeah, for sure flying a plane or an helicopter. It has nothing to do with, with the training you need to be able to fly an helicopter, that's for sure. This is version one, this is the first prototype where we are using 1.2 mirror uh, propolis, okay. but in the technical prototype that we are uh, about to fly now, uh, we are using 1.6. Oh, really? A bit taller, and the arms are a little longer. What it's is the what is the span here from from the outside? If I put this that way, yep. And it's, the other one the it's, same it's way. What is six, that? Distance? Six meters. Six meters. Six okay, meters, yeah. Uh, like yeah. Uh, less these, than twenty feet. These then. two arms here are actually folding down. Oh, they fold yeah, down. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, so you yeah. could store this in quite yeah, a small yeah, space. Yeah, I don't then. know if you've seen our truck outside, but it's it's quite a compact truck. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you could keep this at home, perhaps, if you have space yeah, in the garage, and yeah. uh, in take garage. it out to a place you can fly. Exactly. Doesn't yeah. have to be an airport, obviously. No. It could be no. anywhere where it's allowed. Anywhere. Exactly. And yeah. uh, go fly. Yeah. Um, it's a very handsome uh, prototype. Thank uh, you. You've done a nice job with it. It'd be <laughs> interesting you. to see how this has gone. Now, Benjamin, you told me this is not flown yet, but you will fly no. soon. Is that yeah, right? Exactly. Before mid-June, we're going to have uh, our technical prototype in the air. Yeah. All right. Well, that'll be exciting yeah. to see, and we'll look yep. for some video flying footage there. Yeah, for sure. All right, so let's go to performance of the aircraft yes. a little bit. How powerful are is each motor? I don't know if horsepower is the right term here, but uh, uh, kilowatts. Kilowatts. Okay, kilowatts. so this relates to kilowatts exactly. and horsepower exactly. essentially the same. So yeah. each motor has a maximum of 30 kilowatts. 30 kilowatts. Okay, that's quite a bit. Yeah. Two when could somebody conceive buying this? Well, your company is setting up to sell these aircraft. Exactly. Yes? Yeah. For okay. Sure. When yeah. would they be able to buy something, Benjamin? 2020. 2020. Yeah. Okay. By two years time. Well, that's yeah. not too that's long considering you yeah. are still waiting on your first flight. Yeah. 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 Um, and what is the background of the people making this aircraft? What oh. Uh, so Eve Percy, the, the CEO, has been in the helicopter industry for the past 20 years. Uh, he's been selling and distributing uh, rotaway helicopters oh, in okay. France for all the past right. 20 years. So he's uh, really aware about all the regulations and the technical uh, challenges of uh, yeah, flying. What, what's your 
estimate for what this could cost? You, you um, must have talked about this. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, uh, I would say 99% of people coming on the, of course. Uh, visiting us, uh, visiting our stand are asking for this question. It's, yeah. And so, so how do you answer their questions? No, we actually have an answer. So it's uh, going to be around 200,000 euros. Okay. Pricey compared to a car for sure, but it's extremely cheap compared to what a ne helicopter Oh yeah, much cheaper costs. than a helicopter, I'm sure. And I'm not only talking about the price of the Whisper, I'm also talking about maintenance. Right? Ah yes, yes. Because uh, you are fully aware of that. Uh, helicopter is very high maintenance uh, exactly. per hour for and flying. on the Whisper, maintenance is close to Almost zero. Almost nothing. Almost yeah. nothing. All right, very interesting. Yeah. So you've got eight motors, eight propellers, all delivering a percentage of the total lifting capacity. What if this one here goes out? No problem. And how does it how does the, it handle that situation? The software is able to deal with one engine failure. Okay, one of these can go one. and that's not a problem. Yes, if no two problem. of them go then then you have a problem. Exactly. And then here is uh, the security we have is a parachute. Okay, you do use a parachute idea. Yeah, yeah. safety we have parachutes. So it's uh, it's located in the center. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's uh, okay. That's a good solution. Yeah. We we know about these in all kinds of well, all yeah. German ultralights have them, exactly. of course. Yeah. What is the charge time all right. for 30 minutes of flying? We have two different systems. Uh, the first one is an external battery pack. Okay, that is already charged, and then you just swap them out then. No. We okay. don't swap. We okay. just plug in the external battery pack and then it transfers the electricity, ah. the energy, okay. to the internal battery pack. And then this takes less than, I would say, 20 minutes. Oh, really? Right, so it's, it's, it's quite fast. And then you have the regular charging process, just plug into your wall. But then it really depends on the your power supply. Exactly. I see, whether it's a 220 or 440 or something like this, is that exactly. right? Okay, so if you had the maximum charging capacity available, like the, uh, like these ones we see yep. elsewhere here with the with the fuel pump then, looking system. Then it's less than two hours. Less than two hours. Yes. So the external battery pack is the fastest by far. Exactly, then. yeah. And it can transfer the power that quickly. Yes, yes. Yeah, that, I did not know that information. Yep. That's interesting. Yep. Okay. Well, I've asked you a lot of questions, Benjamin. You've been very patient to answer my lack of knowledge about this, and hopefully now we all know some more. Uh, tell us how we find you on the web so um, that we can learn more and yeah. follow your progress. Yeah, yeah, you can visit us on our website, www.eacifandwhisper.com. Okay, very good, Benjamin. We'll continue to follow aircraft like this, Octocopter, and other fascinating machines we see here at Aero 2018. Thanks again to Bristol Aircraft USA and to Air LSA Aero Marine for their support. You can find lots of information about this aircraft and many other kinds of affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Benjamin and myself here at Aero 2018.